Oh great, well that's just peachy. You know, because reasons. <laughs> die. No, don't hit me, just die. Thank you. Hello everybody, we are back with another video of this Gaia 2 Curse and Memories. Um, so, last time we left off, I had completed all the tutorials and whatever else I did. Um, so I'm also bringing back another one of these videos, because once again, like I said in my last one, I really like this game. This game has uh, pretty much taken up most of my time whenever I do go to play a game. This game sets top priority for me to try and play. Whenever I'm not recording, I try to play this as much as I can, try to get as far as I can, so this way I know what it is I'm dealing with. If I can stop falling off this pillar. Um, so basically, uh, I'm gonna bring back this video, another one, but today, once again, of this guy too. So I'm not sure exactly what's been going on last time I played this. What, what, what is everything? What is life right now with these levels and these name? <laughs> Cellophane. Well, that's... okay. Anyway, so, um, let's see. I am level 3, okay? That's... uh, I don't like that. I only have 507 points of money. So, uh, I know I didn't upload pretty much at all this week, uh, I've been actually pretty busy doing... busy. I've been pretty busy doing other things, uh, this week, and just going out and, uh, actually talking with people, which does, um, kinda sorta tire me out to do, to be honest. Because I have to basically just... All, all I'm doing is talking. I do understand that. But still, I mean, come on. It's people. They talk for hours. Anyway, uh, like me, I'm talking for hours. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the next mission. Whatever that is. Oh. That's the next mission. Well. Okay, then. That's nice. Hey, are you really trying to lead me to Zenon's mansion? Absolutely. The path to an overlord is laden with suitable trials to overcome. It is a tradition. If you do not face challenges along the way, you will not fully appreciate your goal. Look, I'm not doing this for the satisfaction. I just want to fight the overlord. Bumpkin, do you not appreciate beauty? Every course to an overlord begins with the beautiful art of leveling up. Are you sure that's beautiful? <laughs> Come on! Oh, please! You don't even know how to fight! Am I supposed to believe that you know all this random, trivial knowledge? Oh, that's sort of my thoughts, but I mean... will better justify squandering time than with the pursuit of knowledge. Ah, and being a demon and all, you must have a lot of time to squander. Alrighty then, well that was... That's music. I remember that music. Great. Let's attack you. I'll keep you back here, but you're still attacking me. 
His name is Friday. This monster's name is Friday. Okay then. That's a uh, pretty pretty weird. No, I didn't want to attack him. Dead. Not dead. Not dead. Not dead. Ready, dude! Mage is already gone. Friday. Someone has summoned her. Someone with decent summoning skill. But who? How did they even know about the princess? We do not know yet. But it is obviously someone who opposes you. Find the princess. Immediately. You must not allow her to be contaminated by the outside world. Yes, sir. We will be sure to keep the princess a secret from anyone else. What shall you have us do with the guards at her mansion? Wipe them out. All of them. As you wish, my master. Well, that, that seems like cruel punishment. Sixteen health. That's how I would like it. All right, then. Let's uh, see what else we can do here.
Huh. Yeah, so they're all pretty much useless. Good to know. Alright. Okay, well, that, uh, whatever. Alright then. Next! I guess. Well, that's... down onto the XP plus 50 percent to attack you. Same with Adele, so he's gonna come down behind you. And just in case, because one never knows. Okay, yeah, <laughs> he died immediately. I don't know what that was. People seem to really like to hit me. Or my characters at least. Yeah. 
I think I'm gonna let my sword guy level up. Instead of wait where I left you. Do you actually believe you, a mere human, stand a chance against my father? Zenon's curse turned every human into a monster. He turned our beautiful world into some twisted netherworld. When humans turn into monsters, they start to lose their conscience and memories, eventually becoming real monsters. I grew up watching as my family slowly turned into monsters. Can you even imagine how painful that is? If my family becomes something truly monstrous, I won't let that happen! I will defeat Xenon! I'll do whatever it takes to protect my family! Blah, blah, blah. Sadness, 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 sadness. No sympathy, though. You may talk all you want, but do you honestly believe that? You won't even take any hostages, correct? Well, there's no doubt I'll defeat him! Yes, yes, you've declared that many times. But where does all your confidence come from? Tell me. Look at me. I'm the only one in Veldheim who hasn't turned into a monster, and I still have all my memories and morals. I'm the only human who hasn't been affected by Xenon's curse. That has to mean something. And? That's it? That's it. That's it? That's it? Your faith in defeating Overlord Xenon is solely based on that? Why? Is there a problem with that? It is more than just a problem. Are you so stupid you do not see it? Do you not have a better reason? Such as being from a heroic lineage, or being level 100 million? Actually, the max level in this game is 9,999, so technically being level 100 million doesn't count for anything. Normal people usually have, you know, real reasons to believe they can defeat their enemies. Huh, I don't care. Not having a good reason to fight is just an excuse for people who don't want to fight. I suppose you may be correct. But... What's really important is to never give up. To have an indomitable will. Even if your legs are broken and your arms fall off, you have to fight to the end. It's just my style. Well, if your legs are broken and your arms fall off, technically you might as well be dead. So, technically, the end right there. I mean, what are you going to do, fight them? It's not even going to get close after that. I mean, like... A speech on willpower in this day and age? I did not know people still believed in such silly notions. I don't need you doing that. Rosalind, can you not? Perhaps it was your thick skull that prevented my father's curse from affecting you. I did not know that people so roasted others in this day and age. Or in that day and age, as you say. To be summoned by such an odd peasant, I must be cursed with the worst of luck. This human is a complete fool. Such a cretin must not be allowed to disturb my father. I shall have to kill him myself. Be prepared. 
Well, that was very boring. I probably should have skipped that. Hmm. All right. not have the story be like that, because that does get um, a little annoying. It's like yada yada yada. We ventured out to the frontiers of Feldine in search of a vicious hero who was spotted in the area. Wait, what's this? I can't believe it! Look out! It's an invisible laser! Uh... something Excellent. how many times do we have to go over this this is for the traveling channel we don't need action scene for this travel show so stop making up traps and enemies but I'm the host <laughs> excellent anything from you anymore. That's kind of me. There was a time when you were lighting up the stage as the dark hero. But that time is long gone. Huh. Who are they? That is him. That blonde man over there is Overlord Zenon. That is my father. <laughs> uh, what? Really? <laughs> but he looks so young. Can that guy really be your father? Oh my god, Rosalind. Rosalind. Uh, ah, are you filled with terror now that he is standing before you? <laughs> no, that's not it at all. But I, I can... Can you defeat him that way? He is known as the god of all overlords. Oh, my god. I won't lose. I have to save my family. There, that's him. That's my father. Oh, this human. His family must be important to him. But if they are so important Axel. to him, he should stop fighting lost causes that will only get him killed. Nothing ever comes from dying. What a fool. Fighting is so sad. Oh, now you notice? Hey, Director, look! Well, hello there. Can it? I don't want your stupid autograph. I want your life. Huh? Wait. Am I unscrewed? Uh, what? You know, those, the best, auto, cinco. Yes. And then seven. Okay. I'm just gonna attack you guys head on. Is the thing? Three people to kill him. Nice. Yeah. 
Notice him. <laughs> Level 4, 70 points of health, 51 points of damage. He does more damage than my own. Oh, wait, no, I do more damage than he does. Okay, cool. I have more health than he does, too. And again, I'm level 4, but I'm a higher level 4 than he is. I'm just a farther. Okay, and then. My magician seriously needs to level up. wasn't a strong enough substitute for my father. Although, this Adele fool is tough. Though he's just a human, he has the strength to defeat demons. He may be my enemy, but he fights well. <laughs> Killing him will be much more satisfying. Even Princess is 
make mistakes. Let's go. Do you doubt my sincerity? You believe I purposely confused myself? But I'm bound by your summon. You asked me to escort you to my father, and that is why I am out here with you. If you doubt my intentions, we should stop. Fine. For a moment, I thought I actually won. It's just been a big waste of time. <sighs> I am quite exhausted. Where may I retire to rest? Everything's you, 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 you. Fine. Let's go back to town. I'm getting hungry. I hope I will find something to my liking among your slot. I have very picky taste when it comes to food. I don't know what you like, but Hanako's cooking is way better than most chefs. Then I shall look forward to that. I am ready to feast now. But you just said you were sleepy, not hungry. I need to find Overlord Zenon before his curse gets worse. I don't like asking that girl for help, but I have to depend on her, for now. Yeah. It's six o'clock and time for the news. We are broadcasting to all nether worlds and throughout space in Gigavision. It's six o'clock and time for the news. What is that about? Earlier today, in the frontiers of Veldheim, Axel, formerly known as the Dark Hero, has apparently been murdered! We have received reports that Axel was assaulted while shooting on location for his low-rated travel show, Tripping with Axel. Very little is known. And due to the hassle investigating poses, the Netherworld police have simply ruled it a homicide. With no suspects, the case was deemed insolvable. Though he was a mega star at one time, no one cares enough to look for him. <laughs> His funeral was attended by a very small group of relatives. No tears were shed at the service. And now, for a moment of silence. God damn, whoever made this game was just being a bitch to action. Coming up next, we have a special report on today's public education. Kids' common sense. Recent standardized test scores show an alarming decline in the subjects of lying and torture. The Dark Board of Education. Well, let's save. Next. What is this? Where am I? Is this a battlefield? This place is so... Depressing. Is that father? So you still haven't found Overlord Zenon? Do you really trust that lady? Maybe she's just playing with you. Of course I can't trust her. She's a demon after all. That's why we have summoning rituals. So Adele, what do you think? I promised her I'd take her back to her father. It's as simple as that. I always keep my promises. That's just my style. Stop Please pretending stop you're it. cool. But uh, I'm gonna tell Mom. You're just gonna get hurt. Well, your mom is sitting right there. Otherwise, she wouldn't be speaking. I don't care. I can't help it if I was born this cool. Hanako. Hey, Adele. I think she was crying. Her? Crying? 
You must have been seeing things. Maybe he did something naughty to her. <laughs> Sexual harassment. Adele going to jail. <coughs> know what sexual harassment is. Besides, I don't do that sort of thing. Told the she did? Hmm. This was the first time I've ever slept inside a doghouse. It was an interesting and valuable experience, I must say. Hey! That's not a doghouse! It's my house! Now, now, she is the daughter of Overlord Zenon. Compared to her gorgeous mansion, our house must look like a dog house. <laughs> that laugh. Okay, Adele. You'd better go defeat Overlord Zenon today, or else we're going to turn into real monsters. What kind of mother threatens her own son? Uh, that mother. Oh, oh, oh. With this third eye, I can threaten anyone I want and not even care. If you don't like it, change us back. I was just talking about the third eye. Don't forget to bring back souvenirs, Adele! These are the people I'm fighting for? Yeah! Pretty much! Episode 2! Alright then! Well, I'm just going to leave this video here. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you guys, again, like this, do let me know. I will be uploading more of this in, uh, with or without feedback, to be honest. Um, and if I do get feedback, hopefully it's positive ones or positive feedback. Um, if you guys don't like the video, Please, no hates. Uh, if you guys do like the video though, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.